Hey everybody, Ashton here again with GenSense. Today we're going to be talking about a sample company that has not at all been played out to death. Scentbird. So for those of you that have watched my videos for a long time, the first giveaway that I ever did, I think, is when I hit 1,000 subscribers. And when I hit that mark, I actually gave away my Scentbird stuff that I had accumulated up till that point. It was only three samples, I think, and one of these lipstick atomizers. Uh, but I realized after doing that that I should have made a video on it. And I know that everybody has made a Scentbird video at this point, but I figured I would just go ahead and shoot a really quick one and kind of give you my thoughts on it. And unfortunately, I don't have a coupon code associated with my channel or anything like that. But if you run a Google search, you can find a 25% off coupon really easily. I'm assuming most of you know what this is by this point, but for those of you that don't, this is a subscription service that runs $14.95 per month. Basically, with your first month, you get one of these lipstick atomizer cases and you get a sample. This is an 8 milliliter decant. It fits down into the lipstick atomizer and when you twist, it goes up and down. So basically the idea is that you could take this with you wherever you go, and when you need to reapply a fragrance, you just twist, spray, and then twist back, and this little metal case will keep the atomizer from breaking. Now if you're hardcore into the fragrance scene, the fragrance groups on Facebook and stuff like that, then you probably know places to find decants for less. But one thing that's cool about Scentbird recently is they've started putting much more niche into their offerings than they have designer. So if you go check out their website, they actually have a lot of Amouage, um, Third Man, they have Room 1015, so they have a lot of stuff that's kind of uh, out there a little bit, stuff that may not actually be decanted on uh, Facebook groups with any regularity. And that's the main place that I think that this really shines. The atomizers themselves are so-so. They spray out a decent amount of juice, not a whole crap load, as you can see there. They get the job done, but it's nothing amazing. But if I were to suggest this to you, it would mainly be to check out those types of fragrances, the ones that aren't so easily uh, procured. Now, what I went with for this video is Malin and Gott's Dark Rum. So my friend Patrick, he comments pretty often. Uh, he loves the brand and I have not actually purchased any of their fragrances yet, but I really wanted to try them out. So I figured this would be a good way to do it. I can go ahead and try out one of their fragrances and do a review on Scentbird at the same time. And as far as the fragrance itself, I really like it. Now, for those of you out there that are into designers rather than niche, they do have a good amount of designer releases on there. I actually looked at what the most popular fragrances were and Mr. Burberry, I think, was the most popular. So obviously the designers are the ones that are getting the play from most of the people out there who are maybe not hardcore into the fragrance game. A lot of people are probably getting scent birds of fragrances they already own and just using this as a travel atomizer in essence. So there are a lot of different ways that the site could work for you. Um, it just basically is up to you on a $15 a month for eight mils of fragrance is a good deal or not. Again, personally, uh, when I've used this in the past and when I used it to go ahead and do this video, I go for niche. I go for stuff that's a little harder to get because, I mean, I don't want to pay $15 for a designer fragrance uh, as an 8 mil decant when I can buy a full-size bottle for 30 bucks. Scentbird says that this 8 mil decant should last a full month. It should last 30 days. For me, that's realistic because I have so many different fragrances. I never wear the same one uh, twice in a row. But if you only have this fragrance and nothing else and you wear it every single day, you probably will run out before the end of the month, depending on how much you spray. All right, guys, those are my thoughts on Scentbird. For me, it's mainly useful to sample those harder to find Indian niche fragrances things that you can't really find in a decant because nobody's decanting them. And I really don't like messing with those one mil sample vials that you get from places like Lucky Scent. So for fragrances like that, the Room 1015 fragrances that they have, for example, this works out decently. Uh, if you're looking for just uh, something to take on vacation, something to just throw in a bag and go, that's another thing that you could use this for. Uh, but again, it's gonna be personal on if you feel like that $15 per month is better suited to be put toward just a full bottle or if the 8 mil decant with the little 
lipstick atomizer makes sense for you. All right, let me know your thoughts on this. I know that everybody has done a video on this at this point, um, but I just wanted to kind of share how I view the website. As always, thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.